Hello and welcome to The Global Adventures, the channel where we help you explore the world and live your dreams. In today's video, we are going to take you on a journey to one of the most beautiful and affordable countries in the world, Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a paradise for retirees who want to enjoy a high quality of life, a stable and democratic government, a great healthcare system, a friendly and diverse culture, and a stunning natural environment. Whether you prefer the beach, the mountains, the city, or the countryside, Costa Rica has something for everyone. In this video, we will show you some of the best retirement destinations in Costa Rica for 2024, based on factors such as cost of living, real estate, amenities, climate, activities, and community. So if you are ready to escape to paradise, stay tuned and watch this video until the end. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video like this. Let's get started. Number one, Montezuma. The first destination we are going to visit is Montezuma, a quiet and remote spot on the Pacific coast at the southern tip of the Nicoya Peninsula. Montezuma is a place where you can reconnect with nature and yourself away from the crowds and the noise of the city. Here you can enjoy the sandy and rocky beaches, the rivers and natural swimming pools, the waterfalls and the Cabo Blanco Absolute Natural Reserve. Montezuma is a paradise for nature lovers who can admire the diverse flora and fauna, such as monkeys, birds, butterflies, turtles, and whales. You can also indulge in some activities, such as diving, snorkeling, fishing, hiking, and wildlife watching. Montezuma has a range of restaurants, cafes, and a supermarket that are available in town where you can find local and international cuisine, as well as organic and vegetarian options. The cost of living and real estate in Montezuma is low, compared to other places in Costa Rica. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $1.400 per month, or buy a two-bedroom house for around $150,000. Montezuma is a perfect destination for retirees who want to live a simple and peaceful life, surrounded by nature and beauty. Number two, Santa Teresa. The next destination we are going to explore is Santa Teresa and Mal Pais, two towns connected by a stretch of sand that is among the world's most beautiful beaches. Santa Teresa and Mal Pais are popular among surfers who come here to enjoy the high quality waves and the stunning sunsets. But these towns are not only for surfers, they are also for anyone who wants to experience a laid back and bohemian vibe with a variety of cuisines and cultures that can be found here. You can find restaurants, bars, and hotels that offer Mexican, Italian, French, Israeli, Japanese, and Thai food, as well as vegan and gluten-free options. You can also find yoga studios, art galleries, spas, and shops that cater to your needs and preferences. Santa Teresa and Mal Pays have modern amenities and services, such as high-speed internet, banks, pharmacies, and medical clinics that make your life easier and more comfortable. The cost of living and real estate in these towns is moderate compared to other places in Costa Rica. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $1.600 per month or buy a two-bedroom house for around $250,000. Santa Teresa and Malpais are ideal destinations for retirees who want to live a fun and relaxed life with a lot of options and opportunities. Number 3. Tamarindo the next destination we are going to check out is Tamarindo, an expat popular beach town on the coast of Guanacaste province in the northwest of Costa Rica. Tamarindo is a place where you can enjoy the best of both worlds, the beach and the city. Here, you can enjoy the soft sand beach, the warm and clear water, and the activities that you can do there, such as surfing, swimming, sailing, kayaking, and paddleboarding. You can also enjoy the lively and cosmopolitan atmosphere of this town, with its shops, bars, restaurants, nightclubs, casinos, and golf courses. You can find everything you need and want in Tamarindo, from local and international cuisine, to entertainment, nightlife, sports, and adventure. Tamarindo is also convenient, as it has an international airport nearby that connects you to the rest of the world. The cost of living and real estate in Tamarindo is high compared to other places in Costa Rica. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $1.800 per month, or buy a two-bedroom house for around $350,000.
Tamarindo is a great destination for retirees who want to live a vibrant and exciting life with a lot of amenities and facilities. Number 4. Monteverde The next destination we are going to visit is Monteverde, a mountain town in the Central Highlands that is famous for its cloud forest. Monteverde is a place where you can experience a different and unique side of Costa Rica. The cool and fresh climate, the misty and green landscape, and the exotic plants and animals. Monteverde is a paradise for eco-tourists, who can explore the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve, the Santa Elena Cloud Forest Reserve, the Children's Eternal Rainforest, and the Selvatura Park. Here, you can see more than 400 species of birds, 100 species of mammals, 120 species of reptiles and amphibians, and 3,000 species of plants. You can also enjoy some activities such as zip lining, hanging bridges, canopy tours, horseback riding, and coffee tours. Monteverde has a community of artists, writers, and environmentalists who live there and who organize cultural and educational activities such as concerts, workshops, lectures, and festivals. The cost of living and real estate in Monteverde is moderate compared to other places in Costa Rica. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $1.500 per month, or buy a two-bedroom house for around $200,000. Monteverde is a perfect destination for retirees who want to live a cool and tranquil life surrounded by nature and culture. Number 5. Puerto Viejo The next destination we are going to explore is Puerto Viejo, a colorful and vibrant town on the Caribbean coast near the border with Panama. Puerto Viejo is a place where you can experience a rich and diverse culture that blends Afro-Caribbean, indigenous, and expat influences. Here, you can enjoy the palm-fringed beaches, the coral reefs, the national parks, and the wildlife sanctuaries. Puerto Viejo is a paradise for culture lovers who can appreciate the music, food, art, and festivals that reflect this diversity. You can listen to reggae, calypso, and salsa music taste the coconut, curry and seafood dishes, admire the paintings, sculptures, and handicrafts, and celebrate the carnivals, parades, and ceremonies. Puerto Viejo has a relaxed and friendly attitude that makes you feel welcome and at home. The cost of living in real estate in Puerto Viejo is low compared to other places in Costa Rica. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $1.300 per month, or buy a two-bedroom house for around $100,000. Puerto Viejo is an ideal destination for retirees who want to live a colorful and cheerful life with a lot of variety and charm. Number 6. Nuevo Arenal The next destination we are going to discover is Nuevo Arenal, a lakeside town in the northern region of Costa Rica. Nuevo Arenal is a place where you can enjoy a scenic and peaceful setting, with views of the Lake Arenal, the Arenal Volcano, the Hot Springs, and the Wind Farms. Here, you can enjoy the lake, which is the largest and most beautiful in Costa Rica, and the activities that you can do there, such as boating, fishing, kayaking, windsurfing, and kitesurfing. You can also enjoy the volcano, which is one of the most active and impressive in the world, and the Hot Springs, which are soothing and therapeutic. Nuevo Arenal has a community of expats who live there and who have access to services and amenities, such as restaurants, shops, banks, and a hospital. The cost of living and real estate in Nuevo Arenal is moderate compared to other places in Costa Rica. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $1.400 per month or buy a two-bedroom house for around $150,000. Nuevo Arenal is a great destination for retirees who want to live a scenic and peaceful life with a lot of beauty and comfort. Number 7. Quepos The next destination we are going to check out is Quepos, a coastal town in the central Pacific region of Costa Rica. Quepos is a place where you can enjoy a lot of attractions and facilities that make your life more enjoyable and convenient. Here you can enjoy the marina, which is one of the best in Central America, and the fishing boats, which offer world-class sport fishing opportunities. You can also enjoy the markets, which sell fresh and delicious fruits, vegetables, fish, and seafood. You can also enjoy the nightlife, which offers a lot of fun and entertainment options. Quepos is also close to the Manuel Antonio National Park, 
which is one of the most visited and beautiful parks in Costa Rica, and which has stunning beaches, lush forests, and abundant wildlife. Quepos has a lot of amenities and services, such as golf courses, casinos, spas, gyms, and health centers. The cost of living and real estate in Quepos is high compared to other places in Costa Rica. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $700 per month or buy a two-bedroom house for around $300,000. Quepos is a perfect destination for retirees who want to live a luxurious and comfortable life with a lot of attractions and facilities. Number 8. Central Valley The last destination we are going to visit is the Central Valley the most populated and developed region of Costa Rica, where the capital city of San Jose and other major cities are located. The Central Valley is a place where you can enjoy the advantages and disadvantages of living in an urban and suburban area with access to quality healthcare, education, entertainment, shopping and transportation, but also traffic, pollution, crime and noise. Here you can enjoy the urban and suburban areas with their museums, theaters, parks, and monuments that showcase the history, culture, and art of Costa Rica. You can also enjoy the variety of climates, landscapes, and lifestyles that can be found in this region, from the mild and temperate weather of the Central Plateau, to the hot and humid weather of the lowlands, to the cool and rainy weather of the mountains. The Central Valley has a range of costs of living and real estate, depending on the location and the preferences of the retirees. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for around $500 per month, or buy a two-bedroom house for around $200,000. The Central Valley is an ideal destination for retirees who want to live a convenient and diverse life, with a lot of options and opportunities. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Costa Rica and its best retirement destinations for 2024. Costa Rica is a country that offers a lot of benefits and attractions for retirees who want to escape to paradise and live their dreams. Whether you're looking for a beach, a mountain, a city, or a countryside, Costa Rica has something for you. If you're interested in learning more about Costa Rica and how to retire there, check out the links in the description box below where you can find more information and resources. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. We would love to hear from you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, The Global Adventures, where we help you explore the world and live your dreams. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.